How's it going you guys and welcome to your morning cup. Now we have to talk about the Indonesian fires in an oil refinery that straight up looks like out of a horror movie and scenes from hell itself. What we understand today is the fact that a fire broke out in the Balogan refinery run by the state oil firm Pertamina at about 12.45 local time at night. What we also understand is the fact that five people are injured and upwards of 950 residents were evacuated from the neighboring villages. You see, this is a fire at the scale of which Deepwater Horizon comes into mind. But this is on land. So consider Deepwater Horizon on land and more people being exposed to it than were contained onto an offshore vessel. What we also understand is the fact that the cause of the fire is currently unclear. We don't understand how it began in the first place. But a lot has transpired since the fire started off to begin with. Numerous fire authorities are on the location as we speak and trying to deal with the fire but to no avail. We understand that the scale is just getting larger and larger as we speak. The fire has been raging on for well a long time now and it's just getting more dreadful than you and i can understand an eyewitness testimony stated that we smelled a strong fuel scent at first so strong that my nose started to hurt and all the while we heard lightning strikes now the fire originally started during a thunderstorm so there was heavy heavy rainfall along with a lot of lightning strikes in the region what we also understand is the fact that the cause of the fire could have been lightning to begin with. We aren't sure if this was sabotage by any specs of the imagination as is stated by a lot of authorities and numerous people. Or was this by some freak accident that just occurred and could not be controlled. Now the Balogan refinery is one of the nation's most crucial refineries as well as one of the biggest refineries that the nation has ever seen. Indonesia is supplied by petrochemicals as well as fuel by this refinery as well it is noticeably the only refinery that supplies most of the petrochemicals as well as fuel to the greater jakarta region now jakarta being the capital of indonesia is just shocking to see that a fire of this scale is at a refinery that is owned by a state because this is by no means uh, an independent company you see the firm that owns this entire refinery is pertamina and pertamina is by no means a private company it's a state-owned firm so even more speculations arise as to how could something like this happen in a state-owned refinery. Well, people are always pointing fingers at independent ventures for cutting corners and such and that is when the state steps in and puts sanctions on them or does the due diligence in terms of bringing the people who are responsible to justice. But if the state-owned oil refinery itself is under scrutiny, is under such a drastic, drastic scenario, who is to blame? Pertamina put out a statement dictating the fact that the fire has not damaged the refinery processing capabilities and the operations could hopefully return to normal in the next five days. What we also understand is the fact that the fire was focused on the refinery's tanks and not on the processing plants. Thereby, once the fire is contained, the processing can begin as if nothing happened. Which is rather shocking to understand considering that so many people are displaced because of this incident. We don't know if anyone has lost their lives due to this and the only thing that we hear out of the state-owned refinery is that they could return back to normal in five days. It's rather unapologetic if you ask me. Upon further scrutiny, it also put out a statement dictating the fact that it is shutting down the refinery and conducting oil flow controls to further make sure that the fire is not spread even more than it currently is. Dictating that if the oil flow is not checked, it could still be fueling a bunch of the fire dictating that the oil is just running freely through the pipelines. And if the oil in its pipelines catches fire, the entire refinery is going to go up in flames. Apart from just the tanks that are currently engulfed in flames that are straight out of a horror movie, if you ask me, the skies are lit up orange. There's been plumes of smoke that has been rising continuously for elongated portions of time. People are running scared. Everyone's scared out of their minds. And to get a better picture of this, we need to understand that the Balognan refinery is approximately 200 kilometers east of the capital of Indonesia. And well, it measures upwards of 340 hectares. And it can process a total of upwards of 120,000 barrels a single day. So you can understand the sheer scale of the fuel levels that are in these tanks. And this is by no means one individual tank. There are four tanks. And all four of these tanks that are currently engulfed in flames, 
the fire might spread to even more tanks or even more parts of the plant that might just take this fire to a whole new level as we understand what we also can't comprehend right now is the effort that is surely going to take to put this fire out at bay accountability still lies with the fact that the state-owned firm Vitamina needs to put out a statement that isn't about when the refinery is going to be back up and running it needs to put out a statement regarding who is responsible what triggered this massive fire because the people that have been displaced by this fire the people that have been suffering the consequences for one major corporation and it just shrugging its shoulders dictating that it has no control over what could have happened what could have transpired is by no means an answer that is going to be digestible to the rest of the people Jakarta is in very close proximity 200 kilometers is not that long away from the city center and if this fire gets to a scale where it just starts a wildfire or sources a new kind of environmental damage that the likes of which we are already witnessing people in Jakarta could be choking on fumes that are very very dangerous and in the middle of a pandemic when most of the people's immune systems are already looking compromised people in hospitals are going to be at risk people cannot get out of their homes because the air quality index is going to drop so drastically that we it's just above comparison to anywhere else we understand that there have been a lot of external sources when it comes to destroying the environment and the fire of this scale is going to completely ruin jakarta's air quality to the scale at which people are going to have a very tough time with that being said we understand that this oil refinery fire is still raging as we speak as soon as we know any and all developments in this situation we'll let you know but until then I just hope that everyone who's suffered because of this massive fire is safe. I hope that the people that are currently missing are found. I hope nobody loses their lives through this. And my thoughts and prayers go out to every single person who suffered burns and the plant workers themselves. This has been your morning cup. See you tomorrow.